Hey guys, welcome to the Fight Tonight channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 5000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. It's so close, thanks for supporting me, guys. The WBC world champion and the first welterweight American Regis Progress told who his compatriot Gervonta Davies should meet in the next fight. I think Gervonta Davies should fight Haney or Shakur Stevenson. I remember him saying that he hurt his arm in a fight with a pit bull, so there was a close fight then. But now he has to fight against the elite. Let's be honest, was Ryan an elite fighter? Is it possible to put him at the elite level at 135 pounds? He is not on the level of Davin and Shakur. He didn't fight Teofimo Lopez when he was in the lightweight division. He is not at that level. Therefore, if Gervonta plans to stay at 135 pounds, he will have to meet with Shakur and Davin Haney. Let's see how he will look in a fight with one of these guys, say Progress. The WBC World Welterweight Champion Regis Progress reacted to the defeat of Ryan Garcia in a fight with Gervonta Davis. Regis believed that Ryan lost because he didn't have a backup plan for this fight. Ryan had to adapt and it seemed like he didn't have the weapons to face this opponent. In fact, all he was doing was trying to hit his opponent with a left hook. He tried to strike this blow constantly, but Gervonta saw everything and walked away from the treat. When Ryan connected his right hand, he did well. Ryan's team didn't have a backup plan. There was only plan A and B. C and D were missing. When you perform at the elite level, you have to have a lot of plans. Progress 8. Henry Garcia, the father of American boxer Ryan Garcia, said that his son refused to continue the fight against Gervonta Davis after the second knockdown, as he didn't want to seriously harm his health. He was gaining momentum, and I saw it. I say to Ryan, you've come to a close decision, just be careful. But then there was a blow to the body. Ryan said the blow shocked him. He said he would have taken damage if he had continued the fight. Ryan said he didn't continue the fight because Davis landed a good punch. There was something else, but I want to reveal it at the moment. Nevertheless, the blow to the body affected Ryan. If he had not agreed to the weight gain restrictions, the fight would not have taken place. He personally told me that as soon as I entered the ring, I thought that my legs were slightly taken away. But I wanted this fight because I always dreamed of it. And now it has taken place. You will see more from Ryan, but already in the first welterweight. When the tank dropped him, Ryan got up. Such blows happen. They are in cedars. It happened to Ryan, and he said, I'm not going to continue because if I do that, I'm going to get long-term damage. Henry Garcia said. UFC middleweight champion Israel Adesanya of New Zealand reacted to the victory of American Gervonta Davis in a fight with Ryan Garcia. According to Israel, Ryan made the same mistakes in this fight as Alex Pereira during their rematch. Don't chase him like that. Where are the things? You don't check your opponent. He does everything exactly like Pereira. He's just copying Pereira. We need to check and make sure who is at home. We need to knock on the door. You can't just break in. I didn't even wipe my feet. Look, he was just stalking him. Why are you doing this? You have to check if anyone is home first. Don't make this mistake. Knock on the floor from the beginning. Pereira made the same mistake. He didn't knock on the door. Didn't wipe his feet. Thought he could just break in. Adesanya said. For a contender for the title and the first heavyweight, Dmitry Kudryshov commented on the victory of Gervonta Davis over Ryan Garcia. Bapas and I said that it would be a full class, And so it turned out. Tank is a real tank. Of course, there were some chances or hopes for Garcia's left side, but I think Tank is quite professional not only in his preparation, but also in hearing the corner tips. When the coach told him, go down, he will start looking for you, open up, he did everything like that. With the first knockdown, he repeated word for word with his actions what the coach told him. Oscar de la Hoya, the promoter of American Ryan Garcia, explained why their team was absent from the post-match press conference after the defeat of his word. 
in a fight with compatriot Geronti Davis. According to the promoter, throughout the week before the fight, he received tweets. My security service told me, boss, we need to get the hell out of here, because I received death tweets. You guys don't know this, but I've been receiving tweets all week. That's why my security said it's too dangerous. So we decided to leave there. The La Jolla Shard. Julio Cesar Chavez is very disappointed with the performance of Ryan Garcia in a duel with Gervonta Davies. Recall that the 24-year-old star boxer prematurely lost to his opponent in the seventh round after missing a blow to the liver area. Chavez, known in the past for his resilience and character, expressed the opinion that Garcia simply gave up and added that he was no longer a fan of Ryan. It wasn't even a blow. Where did he hit him? When did this happen? I won't watch it anymore. I don't want to watch Ryan Garcia's fights anymore. You can't cross me out. Chavez quotes. Mangood and boxer in the Benet Zepter denies the words of Ryan Garcia that he leaked information from his training camp to Gervonta Davis. Garcia accused Mangolan boxer of espionage because after the fight he said that he had injured him with a blow to the body, and even early Davis hinted that he knew about it. Nevertheless, Mongolian boxer swears that he didn't help the tank. Hey, King Ryan, my bro, in the last post I, I used Google Translator. The translation was inaccurate and ambitious. My apologies. Who is the mole? What are you talking about? I'm not a mole. I don't even speak English, I don't like Tank. In the future, I will fight with him and knock him out. During this sparring, I tried to help you. I sparred in the Davies style. I was rooting for you in the battle with the Tank. You are a great boxer, but next time, try to learn a lesson from sparring. I hope that you will not miss the same blow in the battle again. Good luck to you and may God protect you. Mongolian boxer said. Former Real Heavyweight Champion Dandy Wilder showed his emotions after one of the main fights of the year, in which the undefeated at the time stars of the lightweight division Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia meet. Despite the fact that Davis won an obvious early victory, Wilder believes that it is too early to put an end to his confrontation with Garcia. According to the Bronze Bomber, he would love to watch a rematch. It was a good fight, but it turned out a bit like a teaser. We want more. We want to see a match as soon as possible, Wilder said. For Memorial Champion Bernard Hopkins answered the question why he and the boss of the Golden Boy Promotions company Oscar de la Hoya didn't come to the press conference after the defeat of their fight around Garcia by Toronto Davies. First of all, we have Eric Gomez, the president of Golden Boy. Secondly, it was not an Oscar or Bernard Hopkins event. The focus was on Ryan. Davis and the fans. What else could we say besides what we said before the fight? I won't turn anything into a circus. Now people are trying to come up with something new, because they understand that I was not trying to hurt Davis in an aggressive or negative way. So we had our representatives, Eric Gomez and other Golden Boy, employees run the business. It's not about us. We have done our job. Who will be Garcia's promoter after the fight? There is no even anything to talk about, Hopkins say. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.